This conference will now be recorded. Everybody hear me okay? Okay. So this is the Finance Committee of Council. It's uh, 7.30, October 20th, 2020. Uh, tonight we'll be uh, discussing two pieces of legislation. Mm, sorry. Uh, 2020-109, an ordinance amending and reestablishing section 16101 of chapter 161 of the administrative code entitled non-bargaining unit employee benefits in order to adjust funeral leave benefits as amended. Um, Director Gallo. Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, this ordinance would allow for an amendment of the administrative code that addresses employees' bereavement leave benefits. Um, the employees that would be affected by this are the non-bargaining employees, and this ordinance would help align the non-bargaining em employees' bereavement leave benefits with the um, union benefits um, that are outlined in the contracts. So bereavement leave for immediate family members would be increased from three days to five days, and the grandparents of the spouse would be included as immediate family members. And um, because the um, dynamic of family um, is changing and even um, things like people having longtime um, partners or fiancés, um, individuals like that as well, um, we also wanna make sure we include people like that in bereavement leave benefits. So that calls for the language, and that's the reason behind having the language that would cover any other um, person that's not listed in the immediate family category, um, that an employee would be um, able to get bereavement leave for people like that as well, as long as um, they get the um, supervisor or the director, the director's approval on that. The director's approval, I'm sorry. And I'm not requesting suspension on this. Um, what is the amendment here? Uh, this is being amended tonight? Yes. So initially, the legislation was sent, and the wording that was in there was any other relative not listed above, but it should read any other person not listed above. And we also included um, director's approval. Um, to, to make sure that um, employees do not take advantage of this type of leave as well. Okay, so any other person uh, with a director approval? Right? That is correct, yes. Okay. Okay, um, let me say that all the council is here. Uh, uh, council President Jones and Director Gallo is with us just, and guests, just so. Get that out of the way. Um, any uh, questions from committee? Nothing. Anybody? Anybody on council? Mr. Limper. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, what's the um, what's the number of bereavement days per year that's currently permissible, or does it vary by contract? Um. Mr. Chairman, um, it's it's five days for immediate family members. Okay. Um, and may I, I will add um, that we're trying to align everything. So um, I don't have the other contracts in front of me, but um, the last time I looked, I believe they're all five days. Um, we recently. Um, proposed, um, we're trying to align the dispatch contract as well, where we include um, members of the family that weren't previously immediate family members, we're including them as family members now. Um, uh, Dir Director Gallo, that actually increases, to uh, this will increase it from three to five days, correct? Three to five days, correct. Okay. And that's what we did with the bargaining units? Um, actually, some of the contracts have been five days uh, for okay. a while now, and we're trying to um, make sure that our non-union employees have the same benefit. Um, let me mention that uh, Director Garo is in the house now too. So um, uh, 
Uh, I'm sorry, Councilwoman Williamson, did you have a question? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, Director, are the employees um, made to provide any kind of verification? Um, no, but we can certainly ask for verification if we feel like something is up. Um, and to my knowledge, um, as, as long as I've been with the city, um, I'm in my 11th year, I don't recall of anybody taking advantage of this type of leave. Right, but just because it's always been done that way, doesn't mean we shouldn't look to the future and maybe have verification be placed, you know, in that person's file just to, to just as a, an extra precaution and to cover the city. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, um, Councilwoman Heeman. Mr. Chair, um, uh, a question to uh, Councilwoman Williamson. Do you think a public notice like an obituary that we might find on our own would suffice, you know, as just the initial documentation so we wouldn't burden a, 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 an employee? Mr. Chair, um, Go ahead. Councilman, that is the kind of, um, prior to any bereavement leave, in in most government offices that's something that you have to provide just as just to be placed in the personnel file as your government employee so you need to be able to account for your time especially if you're i'm not questioning that you oh, want no. that i'm would wanting you, to know like would that suffice as just yes, an obituary absolutely. so we okay absolutely yes thank you yeah okay thanks i'm glad thanks um you're not um councilwoman uh, Williamson, you're not asking us to amend this in any form or anything. You're just no. bringing it up as a matter of form. Correct. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and any other questions from council? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make a motion that we recommend 2020-109. I guess I have to amend it first, don't I? Go ahead and make a motion that... Uh, um, that we recommend 2020-109 uh, with the amendment um, to change the wording to any other person with director approval and um, ask for a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And myself, 3-0, thank you. Okay. Um, next on the agenda is uh, 202110, which is a resolution approving of and authorizing the mayor to enter into a collective bargaining agreement with Ohio Council 8, Local 2681 of the American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees, AFSCME, AFL-CIO for the city service workers for a period of um, period for the period January 1st, 2021 through December 31st, 2023. Uh, Director Gallo. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, this resolution, if it's adopted, um, allows us to enter into an agreement with the AFSCME service unit, which are the employees that uh, make up most of the service department and the wastewater treatment plant. Um, this is a three-year agreement. Um, there are no cost of living raises for year 2021 but two and a half cost of living raises for both 2022 and 2023. Um, the health care changes are the same as the firefighters contract. Um, next year, the Metro Health uh, HMO plan will be replaced with um, University Hospitals um, HMO plan. And in the second year of the contract, which is 2022, the traditional PPO plan, preferred provider plan, will be um, eliminated. The city has agreed, again, to fund 50% of the deductible for those employees that are enrolled in the high deductible health care plan option. And other contract changes um, that took place are that Martin Luther King Day will be recognized as a holiday, um, and the employees will, will have off that day. Um, as well as all day New Year's Eve and all day Christmas Eve. Currently, the employees get half days on those days. And um, starting in year 2021, um, they will get all day 
um, off. Um, also, the uh, clothing allowance is increased by $200, and the position of laborer C will be eliminated. Um, so we will have A laborers and B laborers. Um, this helps with the retention of our employees and will help the starting wage. It'll be a little bit higher. Um, we have a hard time finding um, candidates for these positions. So we're hoping that will help us um, find and retain our employees. Um, uh, we Right now, there's no limit on the amount of vacation time that these employees can sell back. We've limited that to two weeks. Um, they will no longer get the no sick bonus. It's it's um, a bonus that's given to the employees if um, they don't call off sick. And um, especially with COVID, um, we don't find that to be something that should be in the contract um, because employees oftentimes feel like they have to come to work even if they're ill. So we wanted to eliminate that. And um, starting January 1st, 2021, the city will no longer pay um, any new employees um, for their commercial driver's license. Right now they get a 55 cent premium pay. They will no longer get that. Um, I want to um, just give council a heads up that the um, holidays, Martin Luther King Day, All Day New Year's Eve and All Day Christmas Eve and the increase um, to the clothing allowance um, will carry over to non-bargaining employees. And that will be um, presented to council in the salary ordinance and the employees that will be impacted by the clothing allowance will be the uh, foreman in the service department. And I am not requesting suspension on the legislation. Uh, thank you, Director. Um, You're welcome. Any questions from committee? No? Any questions from council? Dwayne, you got nothing for us? Okay, I'll go ahead and make a motion that we recommend 2021-10 uh, and ask for a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Three zero. I also would like to mention that the mayor is in the house too. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna give them all day Christmas Eve and all day Christmas. And um, we're going to ask them to be there that much earlier the next day, right? That's my Scrooge imitation from Christmas Carol, just in case nobody knows what I'm talking about. Thank you. That concludes the meeting. <laughs>